everyone, it's Wallace here, contributing editor at Book Riot. I'm hoping that you enjoyed last week's interview. This week is the continuation. It's part two of my interview with them. Um, as you can see, I emailed them my questions, so they are reading them off of their email. I, I'm not there, I wasn't able to get there. You know the drill, you know who they are. Again, I will connect you with all of their social media down below. If you did not get a chance to see part one of this interview, go back to last week and you can see part one. You will also see where I linked to different articles and podcasts that these ladies have been in. If you want more of them, you can find it there. Without further ado, here's Leanne B. The question is, I've looked on your website and you ladies carry such a wide range of types of romance, more subgenres than I could have imagined existed inside the romance genre. How do you find all these subgenres and how do you make your decisions on what you will carry? The answer is that it's ever changing and that we're always seeking out new subgenres. Mm -hmm. um, we picked our initial list based on what we thought was popular and um, on a lot of internet research, but we're always adding new stuff. And as we see subgenres emerge, we really try and honor that in the store. Yeah, new adult is fairly new, um, and we try to keep an eye on what it seems like customers are asking for. We've gotten a lot of requests for mysteries lately. Mm -hmm. And in terms of deciding what to carry in the store, it's a mix of what our customers want, our sort of gut feeling about books. It's definitely an art, not a science. Um, and that I think is what we see as our main job as booksellers is to figure out what people will like. Yep. What is a ripped bodice starter kit? Okay, so there are a couple options for Ripped Bodice Starter Kits, and we created them because we knew that a lot of people would come in and ask, what, where should I start? What are the best in each subgenre? So we have Paranormal, Erotica, and this is a Contemporary Starter Kit. The question is, do any book requests make you blush, or are you pretty impervious to that? I thought it was very appropriate to answer that in the erotica section because the answer is no. We hear everything and people always preface it with this might seem strange or this is weird. And I'm like, it's really not. Um, we, and we love to hear strange, like the, yeah. the crazier the better. Let's like get weird with it. And we try very hard to have a no blink policy, zero judgment for whatever you want. And we can probably find it back here in the erotica section. Yes, indeed. I, can I add a note to that? A note to the idea of shaming readers. If you don't like a book, that's totally fine. We don't like plenty of books. That doesn't mean we judge anyone for reading them. That's my well, that wraps it up, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this two-part interview. If you are in LA, stop by and see them. If you are not, they do sell books on the website. Or if you're looking for a particular gift, you could call them and ask them if you can order something over the phone. I just want to thank Lee and B so much for all the time that they took to film their questions and to answer my questions and to be part of these Monday videos and this romance adventure that I'm going on. So until next Monday, happy reading.